What's going on, everybody? Y'all, we got some more snooker for y'all today. Snooker! It's yes. day. It is the 1985 World Snooker Championship Final between reigning champ Steve Davis and one of the commenters we saw on the uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan one, Dennis, Dennis Taylor. Taylor. All yeah. right. So this uh, this Monday, Monday Snooker Monday. Yes. Uh, in tandem with what is it? Dart Friday. Dart Friday, Snooker Monday. Exactly. Man, love it here. Let's see some drama un un unveil Let's, itself. How about dude, that? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready for it. Let's do it. All right, three, two, one. Such intensity. Oh, yeah. glasses upside down i think they are but what the heck yeah what so, the heck <laughs> uh people are already got a comment it's like you're focusing on the wrong thing and he's i don't know what he's focusing on <laughs> his glasses are upside down what's going on uh, i feel like we jumped into a tarantino film why is it starting in the middle oh my <laughs> god why yeah. is glasses upside down? I have so many questions. You know how hard that is? As someone who is visually impaired, okay, oh, myself. Really? Yes, I do yeah, have I, I right. do own right. glasses. I know, yeah, and I've right. seen the glasses before, so yes. I shouldn't be asking so, that. If I turn my glasses upside down, I'm throwing up. I'm sorry. Like, that's crazy. Okay, I'm not just focusing on glasses, guys. This is about the sport, but still, what the heck is going on? Yeah. I am assuming that we came in like towards the end of this particular match here. So uh, maybe, maybe we need more context. We'll find out. I, I need, yeah, I just need to know. That's yeah. It. The crucible now erupting. Could we just quiet down, please? <laughs> Thank you. The final frame, the final black. <laughs> that really quite incredible as Dennis Taylor goes to the World Trophy and prays to it. Oh, is he gonna get it? What do you do with this one, Dennis? That's a heck of an angle. That's a heck of an angle right there. How's he going to do it? Certainly going through his mind that he turned the light to play the double. I wow. knew one of two things. One of two things was going to happen. Either uh, I'm assuming this, this guy was going to uh, 
either hit it in and win it all right then and there or set it up for the other guy. Um, oh, man. I just knew that angle was just impossible. Uh, you know, and, and at that point, at that point, you just have to ruin your opponent's shot, right? Yeah. You just yeah. can't let them get it. Or does, okay, yeah, I'm asking too many questions. Oh, you're, no, you're asking <sighs> enough questions. I just, I'm like, okay, so this is going to be our first time seeing a switch over yeah i think so on on the on the channel kind of i would say that at least it's the first time i'm um zeroing in on it yeah, like yeah okay now what happens with the other player mm -hmm. I have never known an atmosphere like this. John Williams, our referee, trying to keep the crowd in order. Ah. Uh. A good one. Up. Let Man. the guys play. <laughs> so intense. So intense. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Dennis wouldn't mind my saying he chanced his arm and it's come out lucky. Oh, 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 no. oh, defending world champion Steve Davis looks hard at that back. Man. This is getting intense, y'all. This is, it should be the shot, though. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's gonna roll back. It's gonna roll back. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Damn. That was the biggest shot of his life. Oh, no. I did not know that we could find this much intensity in a sport <laughs> such as this. Yeah. You know what makes it more intense is the dude quieting everyone up. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, okay, so you can't be rowdy and, and crazy um, until he hits the ball. So it's Pretty like much. kind of ish, like a golf atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Can you please be more quiet? I'd like to yeah. hear the grass grow. Yeah. Things like that. Don't speak. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Man. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he is not having a good time. Dennis is about to take it. Uh, or is he? No. Oh! oh! Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Now Davis is setting 
pretty. Oh my God. This is really unbelievable. So much pressure. Yeah. He's done it. Dennis Taylor, for the first time, becomes Embassy World Snooker Champion 1985. the 1985 Embassy Snooker Champion of the World with a cheque for £60,000 and the trophy, Dennis Taylor. This sport could be so intense. That was so tough. Oh my God. Because if he missed that, then the game would be in their heads then. At that point, like, oh, you got to beat yourself there. Like, exactly. 60,000 pounds. 60,000. Are you yep. calculating for inflation right now? Because yep. I'm pretty sure that's a lot from the Fred Diffna video. We definitely learned inflation. Uh, right. Probably sitting pretty for a minute there. 174,000. 174,000 pounds. That. That that's sitting pretty for at least oh, two shit. years. Oh shit, that's actually dollars, but so pretty much either way, everything. Yeah, that's exactly. crazy though. That's yeah. a lot of money. That's a yeah. lot of money right there, man. <laughs> for that sport, my goodness. Oh my god, dude. Y'all, oh god. Uh, come on now, come on. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. Put some more snooker matches or maybe docs or players down below uh, yeah. if y'all keep showing up for them we'll keep doing it every monday please keep showing up because i love this i love this segment it's, it's it's a lot of fun reminiscent of the times we we're checking out you know, football rugby and f1 on here yeah. it's like yeah. that and consider subscribing and watching another video what else dan unplug and do something epic guys maybe snooker maybe <laughs> see y'all next time later Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this. <laughs>